Many people think simulation is really about learning how to do procedures, but at its root, simulation is really about making care safe for our patients. So we've moved the steep part of the learning curve away from the patient. In doing that, we've made it safer for our patients and we're delivering higher quality care. The Center for Experiential Learning and Simulation is comprised of several elements. The first place that one would come to is the Anaclario Learning and Assessment Center. That is where our learners interact with standardized patients. They learn how to take a history, do a physical, or for example, communicate certain uh, very difficult kinds of scenarios. For example, delivering difficult news. It's an opportunity for our learners not to be doing this the first time with an actual patient, but actually doing it in a setting where they are educated, trained, and receive formative feedback on how to improve. Our fourth floor is our mannequin-based and task training uh, simulation center, and that is where we do both technical procedural training as well as immersive simulation. And what I mean by immersive is we have a team of healthcare providers working together to care for a patient, sometimes multiple patients. That's how people from different disciplines learn how to work with one another. Some of the unique things about our simulation center include that we have uh, simulators of various ages, of various genders, and various skin tones, actually. So we have everything from a 27-week premature infant simulator all the way through a woman who is pregnant and uh, giving birth, and as well as everything in between, both adult and children. Our task trainers are also very diverse. We have everything from uh, box trainers to train laparoscopic uh, skills. We have central line trainers, ultrasound trainers, airway trainers, uh, video laryngoscopy, basically any kind of procedure. In addition, um, our operation specialists are quite creative and have, have created uh, our own task trainers, our own simulators for specific needs. One of the other really unique things about our center is our emphasis on what's called in situ simulation. So in situ simulation is simulation that actually takes place in the clinical unit where we care for patients. We take our simulators to critical care units, to the emergency departments, uh, to regular floors, and we actually carry out simulations with the team of healthcare workers that works on that unit. So that's going to involve everybody. And so that's both an opportunity to train, but also to understand the system and where we have potentially risks or threats that are in our system, and we can actually address those before they actually touch a patient. When COVID-19 happened, when we first became aware that this was a problem for all of us, we were actually already well positioned to respond to that. Because we already had a very robust in situ simulation program in place, the transition to doing simulations for COVID was actually pretty easy for us. We're very much in, a, in an expansion, growth, and development uh, phase. I would certainly put our equipment and our space and resources against um, any simulation center in this country. Simulation helps make our healthcare workers safer, more expert, uh, more competent at delivering higher quality care.